What's going on YouTube? I'm back with another one. Um, this one's gonna be pretty much touching up on the last video. If you haven't already seen it yet, I'm gonna go check that out. Um, please be sure to leave a like, comment, um, or view. Anything counts, I really appreciate it. Um, to the ones that have already been tuning in, once again, as I stated on my videos, I appreciate all y'all. The love definitely is heard and felt. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. Um, basically, I just want to touch up on the last video that I did um, that had to do with um, collecting ammo and stockpiling, um, how, how much ammo you should be having in your stockpile. This one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, basically, I just want to talk about the reason why I don't really buy expensive ammo. I try to only look for deals. And the reason why I say that is because I know a lot of people try to go for the good stuff. Uh, when I look online, which is the, re the main source of where I get my ammo from other than the gun show, um, I try to look at reviews on ammo and like to see what people have to say about all the different types of ammos that are being used. You know, whether it be range ammo, FMJ, or, you know, self-defense, JHP, um, Jacket at Hollow Points. And I do see a lot of people always resort towards, most people at least that I see resort towards the expensive stuff, like the Hornady and things like that. Uh, I try to look for the basic ammo and use it to my advantage. As you can see here, I got a few boxes laid out just for you guys to see that I do collect pretty much all kinds of ammo. I got more than this. I just, I put this in the video just for the sake of it. Um, but yeah, I really only buy ammo that I can get good deals on. So you're not really going to see too much higher expensive ammo in my stockpile. If it's something that could shoot and that I could cycle through my gun, I'm going to use it. So that's the reason why I like to be the guinea pig and just pretty much run all kinds of ammo pretty much, you know, through my gun to make sure that they could fire anything that I run through it. Basically, that's the whole purpose uh, of, of having ammo is to make sure that your gun's going to shoot whatever you feed it. And that's one of the other reasons why I don't like to only go for the good stuff. Like some people will consider this stuff good, which I do. Fayoki, Magtech, Remington. Um, like I said, I got PMC bronze. Uh, I got the Browning right here. This was actually, uh, I haven't even opened this yet. This is actually a 200 round box that I bought offline. I only got this for about 60 bucks. And for me, you really can't beat that. 200 rounds for $60. As you can see, I had to tape it up. The box wasn't the best. Um, the ammo was like all shooken up in here, but that's the least of my worries. I mean, it's all in there. I just, I have yet to use it because I have so much other ammo for my nine that I haven't even got a chance to open this up. I've always tried to buy it in uh, nine millimeter ammo because that's the only handgun caliber that I have at the, um, at the moment. So I really try to go for nine millimeter um, in bulk all the time, but like I'd use a lot of FMJs. I don't really have a lot of hollow points, which is another reason why I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of people use hollow points to carry. Um, I carry with hollow points, but uh, some of my magazines, I mix them up with a mixture of hollow points and FMJ. Cause the way some people act on here is if like F full metal jacket is not gonna get the job done. I mean, yeah, I get it. I know over penetration and things like that, but one of the no known reasons, one of the main rules of carrying a firearm is knowing what's beyond your target. So, I mean, if you know, if you ever push come to shove and you get into a situation where you have to have a self-defense shooting, you know, of course, your adrenaline is going to be pumping. You might not have time to react and see everything around you, but you should do your best to see what's around, you know, your surroundings, especially if you're going to have to shoot at someone to defend yourself and making sure that there's no one nearby, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, so be it. But that's one of the things that I would do, you know, if, if, if it came down to it, I mean, we all say what we'll do until we really get into a situation, but regardless, you should definitely always be around, uh, aware of your surroundings and making sure that, you know, there's not going to be anyone around. I mean, nine times out of 10, you know, or should I say 10 times out of 10, you really never know where it could happen at. I mean, it could happen anywhere. So I know that's, everyone's biggest fear is, you know, over penetration, but who's to say if you let off a few shots, all those rounds are going to hit your target, you know, even with, even if you have jacketed hollow points, it's not a guarantee that if you guys let off five rounds each at each other, 
you know, those five rounds are going to hit your target, you know, which means that, that that round could also hit someone, you know, just because it's jack at a hollow point doesn't make, mean that, you know, you you still can't miss. I mean, yes, I am I know that they're known to be more accurate. I mean, I've tested hollow points at the range. But in all honesty, I mean, full metal jacket is just as accurate. I mean, I, I test with full metal jacket. I run full metal jacket most of the time at the range, like 95% of the time. Hollow points are very expensive. If you're like me, you're trying to get the best bang for your buck, you know, whether it be ammo or pretty much any type of deal on firearms or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I've run full metal jacket 95% of the time. I almost never test my hollow points because they're always known to be working. I mean, I might, if I buy a box of hollows, I might shoot maybe four or five out of it, you know, out of that box just to make sure that my gun can run it. I mean, if it could shoot five rounds, it could shoot 10 rounds, you know, maybe here and there, I might throw 10 rounds in there, depending on how much of the hollow points I have. But the majority of my stockpile is all full metal jacket. I mean, like, I try to look for deals. Like I told you guys in the last video, I really meant that. Like, I got these off-brand from a gun show. Uh, it was about $35 or less, I think. No, I think it was actually $25 for a box of hollow points. These are uh, 50, I'm trying to get the camera to focus. 124 stream, 50 rounds. Peak, I've never heard of it, which is why I called it an off-brand because I bought it from someone at the gun show. Um, but as you can see, I ran a few. The ones that are that you don't see in there, I ran those through my Glock at the range, and they all cycle flawlessly. For something that I never heard of, they did well. So that's, like I said, that's the only time I really buy hollow points is if I can find deals on them. But the majority of the time, I'm buying full metal jacket. I mean, I got this box here in the video. These were 100 rounds of... Uh, Remington, um, as you can see here, I used most of them, but the bottom one is still filled to the top because, like I said, I don't run them like that. And some that you don't see here, I got them in my other magazines that I carry with. These actually aren't Remington. These are the Spear Gold Dot. These are just a few that I got left. I bought a box off a friend. He gave me a sweet deal for 50, round, um, 50 rounds in a box, and I actually used most of them at the range because I wanted to test them out and see how good they were because a lot of people say this is like the best hollow points to use. So I kept a few for me. As you can see here, there's only a few left right there, about 15 rounds. I don't plan on using those. I'm probably just gonna load those in a magazine to carry with. Um, I actually have a few in another magazine that I carry with as well. So I have a multiple magazines that I load hollow points in, but as I said earlier, I, I kind of mixed them up with Full Metal Jacket. Some won't agree with it. I get it. You know, YouTube police, whatever you want to call it. But I run both because at the end of the day, they're both going to save your life. If push come to shove, Full Metal Jacket is going to get the job done just like a jacket at hollow point. And that's why, you know, I say that you know, I run both. But, yeah, this Remington box, believe it or not, I bought the entire box for uh, I think it was $40. Uh, I forgot which website I got it from, but I've had this box for almost two years. And as you can see, I still got the whole bottom row. But yeah, it was about 40 bucks for 100 rounds of all hollow points jacketed. So as you can see there, it says value pack on the box. So I really mean it when I say I only really buy jacketed hollow points if I can find a deal for them. Um, I got a few other boxes laying around, maybe like another box of like SIG ammo. Um, it's a 50 round box of SIG hollow points. And they actually only sent me those because I had bought 500 rounds of regular full metal jacket. And they sent that to me as like a, basically like a value customer, like gift, you could say. So I actually got the 50 rounds of six hour bullets, six hour bullets, uh, jacket of hollow point for free. You could pretty much say just for buying 500 rounds of full metal jacket. Um, so yeah, I really only get those those deals when when I get those deals is when I take them, you know. But like I said, for the most part, um, the purpose of this video was basically just to state that that you know don't don't be a don't be an ammo snob. I know they say that you know trigger snobs out there, but I'm calling the ammo snob because a lot of people refuse to run certain ammo through their guns. Like I could tell you right now, through my Glock, I've ran aluminum case and I've even ran steel case. So you know, I I, I say I don't discriminate because you want to make sure your gun can run 
anything cycle anything you know and even if you have a few failures but then you'll know what you could cycle through it and what you can't but you'll never know if you're only going to be biased and buy the good stuff i buy everything i don't care what it is i just showed you i bought off-brand bullets and they work just fine for me i mean yeah i only cycled a few but cycling five or ten rounds is enough for me to know that it's going to work for me if i have to use that ammo to carry one day or you know whatever else the case may be taking it to the range and just testing it out just to mess around um basically that's really what it is you know just try to keep your mind you know try to be open-minded when it comes to collecting ammo because and the days that we're living now everything is scarce you know we don't have too many options i mean one minute everyone's stockpiled with ammo you can buy ammo from anywhere and in the next minute nobody has anything i mean if you see everything that's going on now with them banning um rushing ammunition for ak's i don't know if any of you guys have any ak platforms out there but i do and i'm really holding on to my ak ammo because with everything that's going on the price of the ammo of the ak ammo is going up um you know it's, it's not as cheap as it used to be and that's why i always say you know buy buy what you can when you can because in the days that we're living ammo is scarce you know it's it's hard to come across good deals so when you do you gotta you gotta you gotta take it which is another reason i'm adding to that uh basically adding to that is what i'm saying that you know don't don't be don't be a ammo snob you know just kind of collect what you can even if it's not the best but hey it's better to have ammo in your stockpile than no ammo you're gonna worry about oh it's not the good stuff you're gonna end up missing out on good deals i don't i try to go for all the ammo deals that i can get and basically you know that's that's pretty much it um you know i just try to always always stay stockpiled it's better to be stockpiled with something than nothing you know i know i kind of said the same thing twice but it's basically just to give you guys my input on what i collect and what i keep in my stockpile i know you're going to get some guys to tell you you know to keep a certain rounds of hollow points or a certain round of the good stuff and you know it doesn't really matter the point is as long as you have something in your inventory that you could use it'll be better than having nothing you know and it'll just it'll keep your mind open so you know if you come across a deal for some fayoki or or mag tech you know you won't you won't cross a deal because you think it's not the best brand which actually those brands are proven to be really good brands uh mag tech fayoki even browning everything you see here is actually has a really good reputation but yet you'll get some people to say they won't run it through their guns and i refuse to do that i pretty much run anything that i can get my hands on and like i said if it works best believe i'll be i'll be back again to buy more of that and that's another thing it'll keep your mind open to what's good you know what's good for you some people agree that they have they run certain ammo through their guns and they don't and then you got people like me that runs anything and if i'm telling you right now i've never had a failure to feed with any of this ammo running it through my guns then you know i'm going to be looking on the lookout for those sales for that ammo if that ammo comes back around and you know it comes across my you know comes across me i'm going to get it because that's what i go for i just go for the good stuff that well the stuff that's on that has good deals you know and if it works for me then it could work for you too all right guys so i'm gonna end the video here I know I said I was going to make this quick, but I like to try to be as open-minded as possible and transparent. Um, it's probably one of the most down-to-earth YouTube pages you guys are going to come across. Um, I don't really consider myself a gun tuber. I mean, I'm just more like a gun enthusiast. I don't know if that means the same thing, but that's just what I consider myself. Um, but I'm also very transparent, and I try to give you guys as much information on anything that I might have information on. And you might find it somewhere else. You might find it here. You might find it elsewhere. But at the end of the day, I'm putting this out there just to give you guys, you know, an outlook on things that are, you know, important to touch up on in the gun community. Um, but once again, you know, I'm very down to earth. If you guys ever need any information, I try to always comment back if you need help with anything. If there's something that I might have left out on a video, once again, just leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, I appreciate you guys for always tuning in. And thanks for showing love. Thanks for leaving likes. Um, thanks for leaving comments. Um, and most importantly, thanks for viewing. I really appreciate you guys uh, showing love and just always tuning in. Uh, that's what keeps me going. You know, I ain't going to be able to do it without you. So I'm going to end the video here. And I'll get back with you guys soon. I'll be back with another one before you know it.